Bottom Mountain Living. So this is a special episode. I think it's our most exciting one yet. Uh, I'm going to tell you a story about what happened to us in the last 24 hours. So in the beginning, you saw the trees blowing in the wind. We had some exceptionally windy couple of days the last few days up here with wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour. And when Brian was coming home from work one night, he'd noticed that a tree had fallen over on the road just about a mile down the road from where we're staying. So he asked if I could look around and see if I saw anybody working on the tree the next day and to see if I could ask if we might be able to have that tree. So I went over there in the morning and there was a guy in the truck and he said, sure, let me uh, get on the radio here and see if Public Works will see what they have to say about it. And they had no issues. They, they said they would cut up the tree into sections and then they'd roll those sections over to the side of the road and we were free to come and pick them up as long as we picked them up by Monday. So with the stage was set. We knew we had to go get those logs because some, you know, they could be fair game and anybody else could get them and we really wanted them. So we knew, Brian said, I'm going to get, let's get those after work. So we were thrilled about that. But the logistics of it, it was, we required some creative thinking. So, so Brian didn't get home until about seven o'clock. We knew that we would need the tractor to be able to lift these logs because they were huge. I mean, they're, you couldn't even put your arms around them. They were like two feet in diameter. So uh, we knew that we were going to need the trailer and the tractor the second factor was that there was a snowstorm on the horizon coming in um, this morning, actually. So we knew there was a big snow. And we didn't want to put off the job to later in the weekend. So we wanted to get, be able to grab those as soon as possible. We actually ended up going out Thursday night at 8 o'clock at night to get these logs in the dark. Brian went all the way to the property to get the tractor, drove the tractor six miles over here on the roads, and we started to grab some free wood. So it was an act of God that provided free wood for us for our build, but it was going to take us creative thinking of how to get those logs home safely. And so I'll let you watch the rest to see how it turned out and how we were able to get a fallen tree, a giant fallen tree, and the wood from that for our home. Guys, we're doing a covert operation here at night. We are picking up some logs. So Brian is here at the site where the trees fell down and the guys stacked them up for us. Can't see much because it's dark out, but he's moving the tractor out of the way. You can see the logs right there. And uh, I'm gonna pull in. So we were happy with the way that they left the logs for us. They're kind of stacked up. And Brian was able to get some chain and thread it around the top log there. So he's trying to create a loop where he can insert the tractor fork and be able to lift up that log and then place it on the trailer. So he's hooking up the chain right now. So the hoist was successful. He was able to get the tractor lifting the log without tipping the tractor. It wasn't too heavy for the tractor to lift. So he's kind of backing out into the road and turning the tractor so he could go ahead and place it in on the trailer. So he's trying to do it gingerly so he doesn't smash up his trailer. He was a little bit worried about the weight of what the track what the trailer could handle. And I had had the flashers on the FJ Cruiser going since we were pulled over on the side of the road in the dark, you know, trying to be as visible as possible. So that's what that flashing light is, is the flashers on the car, the hazard lights going on.
morning, and we're on our adventure today to collect our big logs. From last night when we were trying to load them up in the trailer, well, we were only able to fit one of them because they're so huge. Brian didn't want to overload the trailer with too much weight. So we're back out this morning. We want to get it done before the snow comes. It's supposed to get anywhere else, you know, five, six inches or maybe more of snow today coming in a couple of hours. So we're kind of under the clock trying to get these logs loaded up before the snow comes and we are gonna have free wood. Brian's loading it up right now, the little, the smallest one, putting it in the back of the trailer. Now this big one is giant. It's gotta be two feet in diameter at the bottom. Not sure that it's gonna be able to fit onto the trailer with a load, but uh, Brian's planning on cutting it up. dangerous but this is an active road cars are coming by so we have to do this on a couple of trips the temperature is dropping rapidly we are expecting a snowstorm any minute now I've been watching the clouds roll in off the mountain first log done so we're gonna drag, drag that back to the house drive the tractor back to the house and Brian's got to cut up the second log here this is the big one we're gonna be able to get a lot of wood off this we're hoping to be able to mill this into floor planking so we can do some floor planking for our little kitchen section. There's the big tree that fell. It's quite a big tree on the other side of the road there. Clouds are rolling in up there. I've just seen a new couple of snowflakes. It's not gonna be long. This place is gonna be hammered. Some heavy snow. Uh -huh. So how many feet do you need? I need uh, 30 inch sections. Okay. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it, the, I'll cut it at nine feet. So I got, oh, five. I could get two out of this one. Two planks? Yeah, two, two lengths. Two uh, stair treads. Yeah, oh, the stair treads, okay. Never straight forward. Do you think it weighs? Less than 2,000 pounds. <laughs> 2,000 pounds. The limit of the trailer. Yeah, the trailer limit, 2,000 pounds. Well, we we'll have to come back for this one. 
He's going to tie up the gate there so it doesn't drag on the ground when we go over the bumps. It's turning into a legit snowstorm. Look at the fog. Can't even look down the, can't even see down the road. The snow's coming in pretty hard. We're getting out of here just in time. I get to drive this wide load all the way back to the house. Brian's already left on the tractor. He's up ahead down the road there and he's gonna meet me there and unload this these logs. <sighs> Guys, I don't know, I feel like ice road truckers here. I, it's a snowstorm, I got a big wide load and I'm driving this truck, Brian's car. Um, but we're making our delivery and we're making it up the hill and here we go. It's the last turn. All right, there's our other log. Hey, looks like I made a nice delivery. There's the sister right there. Let's see how the tailgate fared. Good, still connected. Hinge is not broken off. That's good. All right, now it's time to unload. Hopefully it won't take Brian too long to unload these and we go back and get that, other, that very last piece. Go down. Oh man. Whew. All right. Let me bring it home. Baby, it's cold outside. Burr. We got our wood, we secured our logs just in time because man, is the snow coming down. I mean, it is like a full-fledged spring snowstorm. Woo, Colorado. Just to the nick of time. Well, we couldn't be more happy that we got all this free wood. We did the work, grabbed it, got out of the road, brought it back to the house. We still need to get it up to the property, so that's gonna take an additional effort. Gotta get the tractor back there and gotta get the logs all back there and they can't all 
ride in the same trailer, unfortunately. So it'll be fun making use out of this wood. Like Brian said, he wanted to make stair treads out of it. He also wants to make floor planks out of it, probably for the kitchen. If he can get some nine foot lengths, that's what his plan is. And then the next step would be to get the wood milled. So we actually happen to have a neighbor up at our property who has a portable sawmill and he specializes in this kind of thing. So we'll be working with him to make up the floor planks and the stair treads as Brian rides in here on the tractor. As the weather worsens, we just made it in the nick of time. So if you guys want to see how these, how this wood turns out, stay tuned. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And keep up with our projects. we got a lot of work ahead of us in just a few short weeks before we have to move out of this rental here. So thanks for tuning in today. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the excitement of this video. And we'll see you at the next one. Take care.